last night's incredible comeback, and now adding to the Cardinals' National League record with your 11th title. I congratulate the chairman and CEO, Bill DeWitt Jr., club president Bill DeWitt III, general manager John Mosaliak, and manager Tony La Russa. Gentlemen, one ship club has brought pride to the city of St. Louis and the legions of loyal Gardner fans. I am honored to present the Commissioner's Trophy to the 2011 World Champion St. Louis Cardinals. Bill, what does an 11th title mean to this city, especially the way you guys came back over the last two months? It's one of, one of the great runs in, in baseball history. An incredible come-from-behind team, ten and a half games out in August, and we just never gave up. And we had three great series in the postseason, and we were fortunate to come out on top in all of them. And I give all the credit in the world to our general manager here for making the deals to put us in this position, and our manager, Tony Russo, who did a masterful managerial job, one for the ages. Congratulations, Bill. John, come on in here. John Mosellek, the architect of your 2011 World Champion, St. Louis Cardinals. You knew you built a very talented team, but this team showed tremendous resiliency and heart this year. Well, you know, we play in a city like this, where we have the greatest fans in the world. They come out every day, and, and, and they allow to do what we did this year. So I thank all of them and all our employees that without them, we're not standing here. So thank you. John, congratulations. Tony La Russa. Tony, it's raining a little bit, but it cannot rain on your parade. The story has been well documented. Ten and a half games back on August 25th. You clinch on the last day of the regular season. You knock out the favorite Phillies in round one, beat the Brewers in round two. Down to your last strike, not once, but twice last night, and you came back and you believe it. Uh, that's probably the way to explain it. It's unbelievable, uh, amazing, incredible. You know, the teams we played in the playoffs, I mean, all great teams, great competition. We got so much respect for them. But I'm going to tell you one thing. We had a night here on a Saturday in Chicago. We're losing one nothing. And our crowd started cheering when we came to bat and we scored two to win. I believe that did more to get us going than anything. So this is for you fans. Thank you so much. Tony, on a personal note, this crowd is just chanting your name. Tony, Tony. When you hear that and the love affair you've had with this city for 16 years now, how does it make you feel? Well, as uh, Bob Gibson told me before the game, he says that in 06, I became part of the club. All the guys on this team, the coaching staff, now we're officially in in cement. And that means a lot with the history of this organization. How about the performance of Chris Carpenter, your game seven starter, coming back on just three days rest for the second time in his career? What makes him such a bulldog on the mound? Uh, last night, uh, David and I started talking about it. I said, Dave, this is, we just had a great win. Let's talk about it tomorrow. And I called him in the morning. I said, how about the alternatives? He says, are you kidding? It's Chris Carpenter now. He hung up on me. Yeah, you know, in the bottom of the sixth, you had Nick Punzo getting ready to bat, and it looked like you and Chris Carpenter had a little chat in the dugout. Did he work his way back into this game? You know where he got back into it? Because the game has never seen a better catcher in Yadier Molina. We learned to trust him. And he, <laughs> and he came in the dugout, and he said, Carpenter's got plenty left, and we trust him. You know, you told me before the World Series started, you probably allowed yourself to enjoy this run a little bit more than any other in your 33 years as a manager. At some point in the offseason, are you going to sit back, look at this thing, and say, wow, that was impressive? You know, that's the pledge we made to ourselves as a team as we got closer and finally got in the playoffs. I said, look, let's not get distracted. If we can get all the way or however far we go, we enjoy it afterwards. And now it's afterwards, and we're going to enjoy it.
Tony La Russa, congratulations. Plenty of player interviews still coming your way with the likes of Albert Pujols and Lance Berkman. Plus, we will present the World Series MVP Award, but right now back on upstairs to Joe Buck. It is the third World Series championship for Tony La Russa, number three in the all-time managerial win list. He won in 89, he won in 06, and this improbable win in 2011. So much more to come from St. Louis. The celebration started on that fly ball to left, and it will continue for days in this town as the Cardinals win over.